Hi, I'm Jeff Rivera with Hopping and Post. We have the opportunity to go inside and talk to Reverend Run and Miss Justine Simmons about their new book and their hit TV show called Run's House. Reverend Run, Miss Simmons, thank you so much Hi. for joining us. Thanks for having us. Great. So you've had a long run, Reverend Run. Mm -hmm. No, no pun intended. No. But it's been a team effort for both of you. I mean, both um, as husband and wife. Like, yes. what does it feel like, first of all, to have a career that lasted this long? No. For Run's House, well, we've been on for six seasons. Now we have Daddy's Girls, which is two seasons. So all together, we've been doing a lot on MTV. I think it has to do with, we never promised you a shock value. It's not like every season we have to come up with something to shock you to come to the television. You know you're going to get a family being together, loving each other, having fun, ups and downs. And family is never going to go out of style because we all want a family. We all want the security of a brother or sister, whether you don't have the traditional family, neither do we. We have a blended family with um, Diggy, Russi, and then you have Vanessa, Angela, and Jojo. So you get, and Miley, who's adopted. So you, you get this feeling of family. So it's, it's, it can continue because people always want that feeling. But I want to ask you something because you have, you know, your children on camera. I mean, we're watching them grow up before, yes. yeah. you know, our That's eyes. Right. So what is it, how is it really to be able to raise your children in the public eye like that? It was the purpose of the show was to, um, I'm a minister and, I, and my um, pulpit happens to be MTV. So the purpose of the show when I pitched it was to give positive television and a family show. My ministry is a family ministry. So we're doing what we knew we were doing, and we, we have to. Before the only the thing show. I had to do was control the, the, the growth of it. And people were like, don't you want it to be big as John and Kate, or don't you want the ratings to be through the roof? And I, my point was to take it Godspeed and let people see that, you know, sometimes if you. Like, I've never wanted my children to run out and try to get an Us magazine or run out and try to. And, and, and let's go take the world. It wasn't about that type of ambition. It was. To show if you if you can cruise along at the right speed in life and, and let your children have nice, good, strong growth. You can have an oak tree, or you can have something that just cracks in half when the pressures and the winds come against it. So I, my family, um, it, as it we tried to go nuts, I'll be like, okay, I'll take this offer. I won't take that. Okay, I, I'll do this. I won't do that. So I'm, I'm, I'm picking and choosing between which interviews I do, which, which life I want to live, so I can have a calm we, life. We try to keep everything balanced. Because we realized that if you get so focused on the career, Fame. you know, we had to, you know, teach the girls this. And now they really, thank get God, it. listened and get it. You know, they're not trying to be in us. So maybe when they went to L.A., maybe they want to get in all those different bands. Paparazzi, you know. They don't want that now. They've you know? seen what happened to some of the celebrities that um, have the paparazzi chasing them and how they just gone half crazy and into almost yeah. an insane asylum. So... It's been um, it's been interesting to just make sure that, you know I'm on the horse I just don't want the horse to tip over right, right. so you know so I have, to, I have to find that balance between making sure the show is successful and, and people love it and it has a great message and they love us but also you get this sense of family and that's what the book is about the book is actually take back your family as an extension of Run's House it's the things you didn't see on Run's House it's the lessons you didn't catch in that little 26 yeah. minutes on MTV and we also have a lot about marriage and we have a lot in there about if you're a single parent, you know, um, there's different places you can take your children to get that father figure, the girls and boys club, you know, just different, you know, boy scouts, different things, you know, um, we put You don't have in, to have the traditional family. Right, to have our book. Right, you know, right. And no. there's other ways. And, you know, what's great, a lot of people say, was it hard to have the cameras? No, it wasn't. This is what we were doing before. We knew what we were doing. You it know, was intentional. Yeah. Right. We, we were, this was really our job to raise our family on right. television we wanted in front of to. you. We, we wanted, wanted you to watch it. Yeah, we, no, I'm saying. Watch it unfold, I'm saying. Yeah, but I'm saying before we were, we got on TV or whatever, this is what we focused on a lot, trying to have our family we'll let you meetings. Peek in. Um, what tips do you have for that are in the book that um, for mothers who are maybe struggling to raise teenagers right now? I mean, for, for me, what I try my best is to talk, um, communication. Um, you know, you can be mom. I'm not saying be their friend, but you can be friends, but that, but let them know the limit. You know, when once they start like really running you, then you know you go, you know, you messed up. And but you need to get like Diggy and Russie, JoJo, Vanessa, Angela. 
They all come and will call me and talk with me about everything, anything. So I think you need to, number one, really be a part of their life. Get into, find out what it is that they want to do in life, you know. Yeah, we played and everything, but, you know, things are moving fast now. Try to, you know, if they want to be a dancer, see if you can find out some dance lessons. Get into what they love. Okay, last question for you. It's actually for our Mississippi's. And that is, you've done how many seasons now? We're up to six. season six, we seven. We're praying for seven. You are praying for seven. That was yeah. my question. Do you really want to do another season? I think because it seems like it's helping. I think if it wasn't helping the people, it wasn't, we wouldn't, it, care. It, we oh. wouldn't care. But it's helping, you know. People are saying, I get, we get a lot of men saying, you made me, you make me family. spend time with my kids, or I take my kids more. Um, what happens is we get so caught up into day-to-day -day life, some people, you forget you have kids to play with, you know? Um, well, we, why we get, to, to play with? Yeah. We, <laughs> we, it's another show. So, a whole other show. Right. Yeah, people don't take family serious enough. And our show kind of gives you that pause and you look at some of them grew up on my rap or they got the Run DMC t-shirt and they respect what I do. So I'm in a good space in my life. I'm right. very happy to do the show, very happy to be an author. I'm, I'm happy. Great. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Go Big buy the book. Oh, Take back your family. Yes, go line. get it. You'll enjoy it. Stuff you didn't hear or see on TV. Oh, yeah, and pictures. <laughs>